let's talk about healthy boundaries in relationships. Boundaries are limits that define me as separate from you. They define what I feel comfortable doing with you and how you may interact with me in ways that are acceptable to me. My boundaries may change with you over time and will be different from person to person. For example, my boundaries with my wife will be different than those with my parents, my son, my primary care doctor, or a friend, and even among different friends. Boundaries are learned in childhood. If you grew up in a dysfunctional family system, setting boundaries may feel uncomfortable if they break the rules that helped you survive as a child. Can you imagine an eight-year-old boy saying to his abusive father, Dad, when you come home drunk and scream at me, it really upsets me, so please don't do it anymore. Most likely the boy would be abused again, so he learns to avoid letting others know what upsets him and thus may develop a high tolerance for unacceptable behaviors. So if you didn't learn to set boundaries in childhood, then you'll have to learn to do so as an adult. Because without healthy boundaries, you can't possibly know who you are or how to take care of yourself in relationships. Being unable to set healthy boundaries leaves you confused about your feelings, needs, and responsibilities because you learn to focus on the needs and feelings of others as a child. Thus, you approach relationships with your antenna turned outward toward the needs of others rather than inward toward identifying your own needs, which can lead to lifelong problems in relationships. Learning to create healthy boundaries begins by turning your antenna inward so you can practice identifying your feelings and needs and then take full responsibility for getting them met. You also must learn to let go of feeling responsible for the needs and feelings of other adults because that responsibility belongs to them. This process of learning to set healthy boundaries will allow your true self to emerge, which is an essential key to recovery from childhood dysfunction. Like the porridge in the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, boundaries can be too rigid, too loose, or just right and healthy. If boundaries are too rigid, it's like living in a walled-off castle with a secret entrance. You allow no one to get close to you. If boundaries are too loose, it's like living in a house with no fences or locks. You allow others to take up residence rent-free while you keep giving and they keep taking. As a result, you lose control of your life and become increasingly anxious, depressed, resentful, and stressed. Healthy boundaries are like a fence around your house that keeps you safe. You have the right to decide who comes in your yard, home, and life and how they are allowed to behave. Healthy boundaries are flexible and an essential part of healthy relationships where each person respects the boundaries of the other and each understands that I'm responsible for advocating for my own needs in this relationship and you have that same responsibility. As you practice setting healthy boundaries, all your relationships will improve. Healthy people will respect your boundaries and appreciate your directness in getting your needs met because that's what they do every day. Unhealthy people, however, who have been manipulating you because you wouldn't say no, will find others to manipulate, which will also be good for you. And in the process, your true self will emerge as you define what is and isn't acceptable to you in all your relationships. And what an exciting journey that is. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button. And if you want to hear more from me, then subscribe to my channel, Counselor Carl. I will be publishing a new video every other weekend, with the next one being 12 Tips for Setting Healthy Boundaries. You can also visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about me, various mental health topics, and the services I provide. Thank you for watching this video and keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.